jungle justice and extrajudicial killings in parts of a country has been regarded as a serious threat to life and a continued challenge to law enforcement agencies in Nigeria and in parts of sub-Saharan Africa. TVN correspondent Juliet Uduji takes a look at the menace of jungle justice and completes the story in the special report. In 2012, Four young University of Port Harcourt students, falsely accused of stealing, were lynched to death in the community of Alu in Port Harcourt, the river state's capital. Few months later in Lagos, a 12-year-old boy was beaten and burnt alive for allegedly kidnapping another child. These are but a few cases of jungle justice, a situation that is prevalent in Nigeria and some parts of Africa, where people carry out extrajudicial killings for wrong purportedly done by the unfortunate victims. While some of the victims do not survive to tell their stories, many lose their lives in situations made more painful by the fact that they are not given the opportunity to defend themselves nor were they lucky enough to have interventions by law enforcement agencies on time. Jungle justice for body to know is a criminal act because the law doesn't allow you to take laws into your hand. If they have any issue, um, somebody has committed a crime on them or have violated their right in one way or the other, uh, they should allow the law to take its course. While every human has the right to life, and the constitution of every country gives the right to self-preservation and also rights to seek protection from lawful constituted institutions, the origin of jungle justice and its sustained existence still continue to beat the imagination of many. There is a lot of frustration in the system. It's unfortunate that young people have to resort to jungle justice given that uh, uh, we have people in this system have, that have committed you know, crimes that are bigger than that, and they walk the street free. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, young people concentrate on those that are too weak. I feel that it's very bad for you to do. Jungle justice is not good. But before the person that it's happened to, or the person that caught you in the act, it will look as if that's the best thing to do at that particular moment. I see the act of lynching, you know, a, as a way of being wicked. Because if you, any, any, for a soul to lynch somebody or probably you pick a knife to stab somebody, you know, you have to stop yourself first before you know how it feels. Legally, even if it has been proven that the suspect committed a crime, it is not within the right or power of the mob to kill a suspect without giving the person a fair hearing. Despite knowing the consequences of engaging in mob action, many Nigerians, especially the street urchins, have now been deterred from engaging in the illegal art at any slightest opportunity. The government, ordinary the France, are jungle justice. The system France are jungle justice. Every individual I expected or is expected to take the course of justice by, appropriate, by approaching appropriate avenue to remedy any perceived wrong. Why, considering the prevalence of jungle justice and the fact that people take laws into their hands, without recourse to constituted authorities. Many questions continue to beg for answers as to why the law enforcement agencies are often notably absent or too slow to respond to incidences of jungle justice in time enough to save lives and enhance the rule of law, and also why perpetrators go scot-free in most cases. You have a good lawyer, you get to the court, you are most likely to be set free because there are a lot of laxities, there are a lot of pools in our constitutions. If you embark on jungle justice, uh, you can't be seen or you cannot be said to be a good citizen of the country because you are equally violating the law, 
that the, the person in the first instance have violated. But we want people to follow up on matter so that they will not know there's no any laxity on the side of the law. Jungle justice is an act of wickedness and by extension affects the integrity of the country. It is advised that youth who are often involved in this barbaric art should desist from it to achieve a better Nigeria. Juliet Uduji, Television Nigerian.